Hey friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I'm back with part two of the advent journal we're making. So again, I'm using Yuletide Cheer Paper from Joey Card Makers. It is pretty. Um, you can make your journal with whatever papers you like, and we are going to be um, making 25 pockets. I've already made a bunch of them, so don't get intimidated. But I want this to be like an advent um, calendar kind of interactive journal thing so that each day um, you can write a little something or um, interact with the journal in some way each day. There'll be a pocket with a cute little tag or journaling card or something in there. So in part one, we actually made the journal itself. So if you've missed that, you may want to go back and see how how I did that but you could really use any journal you want and today I'm gonna to start making pockets so we're gonna set the journal aside we'll install some pockets as well in this video but let me show you real quick the ones I've made so far so the, the thought is each pocket will have a number for the day of the month so this will be for the first of December and it probably would have helped me. I've got I've got all kinds of papers we're going to be working with. Let's use this one to kind of show you how the pockets work. So this is just a really simple made out of book page and then layered with the pretty papers. That's for day one. Day two, it's a side load pocket like this. So it'll go on a page. Um, three is a wraparound pocket. So it's going to wrap around the page like this, and then this will be on the other side just for another, another tuck spot. So I used a piece of holly to decorate that one. Let's see, four is another wraparound, but just, um, oh, it's the top. It's to go over the top of a page, and you'll have this little tuck spot right at the top for something little and then on the other side as well. Um, and if you wanted to install it like this, you can, and the number can just um, be sideways. So I'll think about that when we get to that page. Five is an angled pocket. Fun. Six, again, is gonna wrap around the page. And it looks like it loads. Oh, two pockets. I made two small ones. I was getting trying to get creative and do some different things. And I think the side also has two little tuck spots. Seven, a top load. Okay, this one, I have to remember how I did this one. I think it's going to wrap on the page like this and open up. And you've got a tuck spot here, so it's gonna be a flip out, okay? So again, some of these will make more sense once we load them or, you know, attach them to the paper. This one is going to get glued down so we have a tuck spot here and then it opens up and we have a pocket inside. And then I think this one just has a little tuck this way. Yeah, just a little tuck that way and I decorated it. Again, depending on how we install it, we'll have another pocket. And same way I just did an angle but in the other orientation. Um, well, I, I made these the other day, so I have to remember what I did. So it looks like we've got a tuck spot here and a tuck spot here. Um, this one flips up for some journaling space and a pocket here and a pocket there. And we put it on the paper. And then I think this is another one with journaling space. Oh, I know. This one's going to glue on the, glue onto a page and it's going to flip up but I'll show you when we put it down. That was for day 13, and then we're at 14. What did I do for 14? I think I just did a little tiny pocket. Yeah, cute, right? So I have done tons of videos that show you how to make different kind of book page pockets, but I'm gonna show you some of these to do the last 10 that we need. And if I miss one that was your favorite and you're like, oh, I wish you had shown this one, just drop me a comment and we'll figure out a way to do that in another video at some point. So the base of all of these are book pages, and I just have a variety. I have some that are already kind of torn a little bit, some of the page. I think this is a like a Nancy Drew book. I got my geometry pages. I still have some of those left. So math, just a variety. Uh, this one is some kind of play. 
I have some dictionary. So again, depending on the size and what type of pocket we're making, we'll have plenty of papers. So let me look at these and I don't mind having some repeats in there. So, you know, we can go from the most basic where, which is this one, I think I had trimmed the paper where we just had the text showing, but it doesn't really matter. I'll make this one a little bit larger where you just literally come up like this. And then I layered a piece of pretty paper back here, a piece of paper here and made the pocket. So we'll do that. We'll just make one of these, one of our basic pockets. I have lots of scraps of paper from the kit. And then I also, um, Joey is very generous and he does freebies, these collage papers. These are just some of them. There's, I think, five in the freebie kit. And then these numbers, that's a whole freebie as well on his Kofi. So I'll make sure all that is linked for you in the description. But um, you can, they all coordinate with the kit. So anyway, it's just super fun and it makes it easy and everything is pretty and matches. I think these poinsettias on this part of the pocket will be fun. So everything really is based on kind of the, the piece of book page you start with, and I could have torn this one smaller, but this book page, just to give you a reference point, yours can be whatever size, is seven and a quarter by four and three quarters. And then I folded the pocket up two and a half inches. So now my pocket is four and three quarter inches tall this way. And a lot of times I just don't even measure when I craft this way. I'm just going to use the paper, use my ruler. I'm going to do some tearing and we're going to make the different layers. And I'm okay if things um, aren't exactly perfect and straight. Like if you look at this one, you can see you know, it's not exactly perfect, but I love the style of it being junk journal-y, and I think that's part of the charm. So I'm going to use my Walnut Stain Distress Ink and just go around. So this, this video is going to be fun making pockets, me chatting, and then we'll be adding the pockets to the pages. Part three three of this little mini series I'm doing will then be making all kinds of fun tags and journaling cards and those types of things to stuff in the pockets. And I'm sure I will make some of them like I did here off camera. Making 25 is a lot um, for a video. And so I will, I'm sure, do some of it off camera and then we'll come together for part three of the video to really put all the finishing touches on the journal. And then I think that'll be it. I might do, if I need to, we'll do a part four. We're just gonna glue this pocket closed by putting glue on those two sides of the flap. Simplest of the pockets. Um, but you know, if we need to do a flip through or if we need to do some more decorating, we can do that um, with a part four. But I think we can do all everything I want to do with three with three parts in this little mini series. So I hope you will enjoy it and stick around um, for each of the parts. Now this one I layered a paper back here as well. But I think on this one I'm just gonna leave it, and this will be nice and big for some kind of um, journaling card or something that we might want to stick in there later. Okay, the big kit has lots of pieces of ephemera. Now I do want to put, we're on, we're on 15, so this will be for December 15th in my journal. And we're just going to put it right there. Now I have not done a ton of decorating to these pockets. Like I said, there's all kinds of ephemera and fussy cuts and things we could do. And in that freebie, there were a bunch of the squares that just have beautiful holiday images. Um, so, you know, we, we could do more, but sometimes I want to see it on the page and then maybe decide if I need to decorate it more. Okay, so we just did, we replicated in a way one, just different sizes, do on page 15. Let's do 
this one. This is just a nice narrow side load and it can go on a page edge. I'm gonna do this one a little bit taller though. And whenever you're making these, you always wanna kinda know like how tall are your pages. This one certainly is still shorter than the pages of my journal. So it is not a problem. And um, it will still look nice. So I'm gonna fold it in half. Again, I think this is that same book. So almost five inches by seven and a quarter. And I'm gonna fold it in half and then I'm gonna fold this piece back just a touch. So now I can, if I want to, I can glue it together with this little tiny tuck spot here and a tuck spot here. And I did some pockets like that that I showed you. But I can also fold this piece in this way to just kind of reinforce this edge of my pocket where we'll be stuffing. And I think I'm going to do that. Okay. So, again, these are meant to be, our, in my mind, I did the first 14. I kind of challenged myself to not overthink it, not go back and research all my different book page pockets that I've done in the past. I just started folding paper and making the pockets because um, I kind of just wanted to, I don't know, make them free form, fun, quickly, just a fun, easy project. So that's what we're doing today. All right, so I've glued, I glued that flap down and now we're just going to add glue to these two edges and then find a pretty, some pretties of the paper to put on here. I actually cut out one of the green ribbons from a piece, I think it was from this piece, let me show you. I cut the little ribbon out and then glued it on with these ornaments, um, which was part of this strip, I believe, but you can get a little fancier like that or you can just, um, you know, you don't have to get quite as fancy. I'm gonna use this yellow strip. It's a little bit wider than what I need. So I'm gonna use my grid paper to line it up so I know I get it straight. And I'm gonna take off, I don't know, a little more than a quarter of an inch. Whoops, it wiggled. All right, looks fine. I wanted to still see some of the book page. I like that look. So this is just the fun, you know, layering where you look at the papers you've chosen to use and you just get to have a lot of fun. And I, I love Christmas journals, especially to have sometimes extras, right? So some ribbons, some bling, different things like that. So that may be something that I spend a little time on in video three or if I decide to add a four where we just add a little bit of extra to each of these because I'm not really right now putting ribbon and a lot of extra decorations on. I'm just using the paper to layer. So with a Christmas journal and something that I want to be interactive. Now I don't want to glue my pocket close. I'm only going to add glue to a portion of the square for the 16. Um, but I want it to kind of hang over. If that made sense. I left the pocket open. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's super fun, super easy. So let me, let's, I'm going to keep 15 and 16 kind of together. You want to do a wrap around one? Let's do this one that the orientation is the other way though. So again, I can really pick any of these pages that I want but I'm gonna fold it up to have my pocket be one and a half inches, and then I'm going to fold it this way. And this one, depending on where I put the number, right? If I put the number like I did for three, the orientation will be this way, but if I do it this way and put my number, and we're on number 17 here, it's gonna go like on a left piece of paper. And it might help if I was looking at my journal <laughs> to see, you know, what papers are there and what the decorations are. 
but again, I'm just kind of going with it. Um, and a lot of times when I'm making pockets, I'm looking at the page that it's going to get installed on. And so I have a really good idea of, of what I want it to look like. But this one being the Advent themed, I want to kind of play with it and we'll just see what happens. Now these can literally get glued in and then like have another pocket. So let me show you what I'm talking about. We'll use the three to look at it. If this is the page it's gonna be installed on. I can glue it down, glue it down, and now I have a pocket here and a pocket here, right? I could, depending on how I glue it, leave a tuck spot here or here. We can also only attach it on one side. So I could attach it here and this can be a flip open. And then we can add journaling space or another pocket or something there. So those are decisions that I'm going to make when I'm actually installing my around the, the page pockets, okay? Um, so if you haven't made some like this, it gives you so many options which really make it fun. Okay, I am trying to decide what paper I want to use next. I think I'm gonna use some of these Christmas trees and I realize it's not quite big enough to cover this whole pocket, but you will see the method to my badness here in just a second. We're going to ink, ink it, and then I'm going to decide what orientation I wanna put the number on. I can put it to that side or I can put it to this side. And I can bring it up, nestle it right in there together. So many choices. I'm going to, well, you'll see, I'll just make a decision. So if you also like using book pages for the bases in your journaling, and your junk journaling, leave me a comment and let me know. Some people um, don't like seeing books get used in this way. And if you're in that camp, I hope I haven't offended you. But I feel like books that are sitting somewhere rotting and no one's using them or reading them anymore, it's a way to give life to a resource. <laughs> and I certainly don't tear up books that... Um, you know, are rare uh, or have a lot of value. I try to um, use ones that are already either damaged or there's just a gazillion of them in the world in print. I usually have gotten them for a dollar or less <laughs> or at yard sales, places like that. So um, there we go. I love using them in my junk journaling. I think it's fun. I'm gonna pick one of these squares here. To just decorate this and I kind of like those fairies. So this side of the pocket won't be um, for one of the days. It'll just be an extra pocket and decoration. Go to this side and I think I'm gonna kind of bring it up like that. Cute. All right, so that was number 17. All right, what else do I have? Let's do it. Uh, let's do an angled one. Um, there's different ways you can fold these with your book page and, um, and different ways to make that work. So for this one, I am going to, what am I gonna do? I am going to, there we go. Ha! I did something a little different. Um, and I'm going to chop it off so I don't have that weird kind of funky angle going on. Um, if you want to see me do that again, I'll unfold it and show you. Um, again, lots of ways to make angled pockets, but this one will be nice and reinforced. So I just angled the page, folded it up, and then trimmed it to a square. All right. Um... And depending on what orientation we want will depend on how I glue it down. And I think I'm gonna do it this way. So we'll add glue to this side right here. 
and I could have inked it before I glued it. And I've got this little flap, and again, this just gives it a little more structure. So I'm gonna keep it. There we go. And this is what I meant, as I could have inked along this part of the pocket before I glued it together. All right. Um, a lot of times when I'm doing this type of crafting, I'll just start folding the paper. I won't even necessarily have anything on my mind yet <laughs> and just see what happens. Okay, let's use some of the this piece. This ooh, that'll be pretty. We'll have some of the garland with the ornaments and the dove down here and then some of the stripes. Again, multiple ways to figure out where you need to angle and cut your paper. I am using the method where I'm gonna lay my ruler down and I'm gonna fold my paper up and make sure that if I cut there, it will fit. So I, I hope you could see what I did. I just used this as a template. Now Pam has to figure out where she put her scissors, because I don't even think I've used my scissors yet, have I? There we go. I could probably tear this as well. I'm gonna go just a little to the left of the score. And let's see how it looks. It fits right in there. Um, I think there's other strategies and ways to, to do that. But that's what I tend to do. I, somebody gave me a really good idea of how to make, um, how to cut uh, pieces that are on angles like that. And I tried it and it worked really well. And now I can't remember what it was. Because I've slept since then. So I apologize. But if you guys have some suggestions for me or ways you like to do it, let me know. All right, this is going to be day 18. And we're gonna put it you know, right there, I think. So I'm not gonna add glue to this corner. I'm just gonna add glue to the rest of the square so I don't accidentally glue my pocket closed. And again, I always come back and make sure because it's better to find out now and fix it. All right, so that was day 18. Let me find another one. Oh, let's do one that kind of folds up sort of like an envelope. Again, super easy and fun and different shapes that you can do. But let's, I eyeball mine, you can measure if you want to. So that's going to be the inside of our little, little envelope, easy, easy envelope. And this will be the top flap. If we want to, we could angle it some, um, all kinds of options. I'm just going to leave it to match this one and be square. And again, I hope this is showing you, these are just like some of the easiest of the folds. But once you get them decorated, they look fabulous. And I think this is something, um, like I said, my, my daughter, who she and I always do lots of holiday prep and planning together is the one that moved to New York and has the new job and isn't going to be here until late on Christmas Eve. That's when we got our flight in because she has to work Christmas Eve. Um, but I'm going to go visit her in early December in New York. We're going to do some shopping and some prepping and things. But um, she's who I would probably do this journal with. So I, I, I may actually give it to her when I go visit her so that she has... Um, an advent activity to do in her new home. Um, she lives by herself, and I think um, I think that's what's on my mind. So hopefully she's not watching this. I don't think she usually watches my videos. <laughs> if she does, I think she kind of just lets them play when she's doing other things. So I get a I get a view, but um, I think that's what I'm gonna do with this one. Um, I think it's gonna be special and. She doesn't, when I go, I'm going to take a few decorations and things for her. I'm going to tear this paper this way first so that I have 
this full piece to use if I want it. And I'm gonna tear a piece of this to fit on this part of the pocket. Um, anyway, this is, um, even though she's lived away from home now since like 2020, um, this is the first time though that she won't be with me at the you know, week or so before Christmas and um, leading up to all of that. And she'll be in her own place far from home. So I think this will be a nice special gift and something for her to use um, and, and, and hopefully maybe keep and look at in future years too. It could be one of those types of fun decorations that you get out each year and maybe add a little something to it. So I think that'll be fun. And she always, we have multiple of the uh, Christmas decoration advent calendars around our house. I just realized I did the red paper on this one too. Oh, well, it's okay. <laughs> um, and that was one of her favorites when she was a little kid. She, we have one where you move like the little, uh, it's a heart on a string and there's pockets on the decoration and you move the heart to each of the little pockets each day in December. So it's kind of the countdown to Christmas and she has loved that since she was just a little girl. A friend of mine, Marilyn, gave that to us when my kids were in diapers. Um, so she's remembered it her whole life and um, I may have to take that to her too. <laughs> so she can have that in her house. I'm going to visit her the first full weekend in December. So I may have to send this in the mail so she'll have it early enough. We'll see. But some of the, the holiday decorations that are easy and I think she would enjoy having, I could probably just take with me on the plane. All right. Lots of things to plan for. Okay, it's a little different, even though I ended up using some of the pieces from the same paper. And again, we could keep layering if we want to, but I think it looks great just like this. I think I'm gonna attach the 19 on here, just a little different. I think it's gonna look good right there. So that's where we're gonna put it. And again, plenty of room if I want to later to come back and add ribbons and bows and stuff. We'll see. All right, so that was 19. I know these are getting out of order, but that's okay because I do know how to count. Um, let's do one that has a, it may not be exactly like this, but has a journaling spot. I think that would be a nice one to do. Um, okay, different size piece of paper. It's already kind of been chopped up. Let me see though. I think I have some that have, yes. Like this. Let me show you how you can use this. This is will be great journaling space. Um, let's fold them this way uh, because it doesn't have any text on it already. So this one we will install on the page this way. It will flip open and you can write here and we'll have a pocket or something here. So let's let's decorate it. Let me find find one. I don't think we've used any of this color, have we? I know we were doing the other green. Um, I like these stripes a lot. So again, let me, I've been trying to tear the paper sort of, not that you have to with collage papers like this, but tear it so that if I want to use these other elements, I haven't for no reason ripped them in half the wrong way or ripped them the wrong way. Okay, so here we go. And I hope you guys can see what I'm doing and that this is not boring. I, I like watching people make different types of pockets um, and embellishments for their journals because I always end up with a new idea or something I haven't quite thought of or a way I can use that exactly or change it up to meet my needs. So I hope that's the same for you. I have been doing a lot of, and of course we're still just in October and I've been doing a lot of holiday videos for you guys simply because I like having, 
I, you know, I like getting started early because things just get so busy once we get into November and December. And if you want to make some things, you want the ideas now. Okay, we're on day 20. So I want the 20 to be on the front. And I kind of like that aesthetic, just kind of leaving it without a lot on here for right now. Then we're gonna open it up. It's gonna be, this is the piece that's gonna be glued to the page and I may leave it as a tuck spot, I don't know. This is gonna be our journaling space. So let's just put, you guys know how I love to just put a little strip of paper or washi tape or something. I don't know, it makes it, it, it seems that it's telling the reader or the user here, right here. It looks like a little pad of paper now with a little topper. And then here, let's add a pocket or a tuck spot. So we just used those trees there. Maybe we will add, let me get us some ink so we can see where our score line is. Make this look pretty with the ink. Um, and if you guys watch my videos, you know that I do link for you the, the supply, my, most of the supplies I use are in my Amazon storefront, not everything. Um, and of course I get a lot of printables on Etsy and I link those for you guys too. But if you need some supplies or you wanna see what I use, please go check that out. Even just clicking on it helps me because it tells Amazon people are interested and then they'll show my stuff to more people. Um, if you do end up making a purchase because these are affiliate links, Amazon will give me a few pennies, but it's at no cost to you, so thank you. Um, but again, even if you just go peek, take a look, that helps me. So if you don't mind and you have time, <laughs> click, click away on the links that I share. Okay, let's put this here just to, it also will give this pocket, this book page, some more structure to have the card stock layered on there. We won't have to worry too much about it. And then, let's, I think I need something with a little more contrast. Maybe we'll use this one and add a belly band. Would that be fun? Okay, so let's get it to the right length that we need. We'll save those for something else. I did not tear that very straight, so I'm gonna fix fix my boo-boo. And then we will make this a either a belly band or a side load. Hmm, let me see what I think. Let's make it a side load. I'm gonna hold it this way and add glue to three sides instead of just making it a pass through. We'll put it right there. All right, and now we can tuck something in there. Cute. All right, so we still have 21, 22, 20. We still have one, two, three, four, five. We gotta move quickly. I'm gonna try to start moving a little more quick. I don't know how long we have been going. I didn't think 10 pockets would be too much, but it does seem to be quite a bit. Okay, this one we're just going to take a piece of book page. It's already been torn some. It is three and three quarters by, what was that, seven and a quarter? Almost seven and a half. I'm going to fold it in half and then just fold this over. And we're going to have a tuck here and a tuck here. So we're going to add glue to the top and the bottom here. And then we're gonna add glue to these, the inside top and bottom of the flap. So now we have pocket, pocket, cute, right? And then to decorate, we'll add a touch of ink. And let's see what I have, what I think will work. Let's do, Still that poinsettia. Oh, we still have this pretty piece. This bow right here. Yeah, and you know what we're gonna do with this one to add some structure to our book page? I'm gonna wrap it around. This is the part that's gonna get glued to the journal page. 
and now we'll have a little more structure. So let's ink, and then I'll show you how I'm gonna glue that down. I could have torn it off like I did the other piece, but I think this will be fun. It'll be a little different. Give it a little different look too. It's a little bit wider than this flap, but that's okay. And we'll bring it, whoa, I'm gonna bring it just a smidge past this part of the flap. All right, so we've got our tuck here. We have our tuck here. And I'm gonna glue one of the back flaps down first, just one. Okay, then we're gonna flip it open and we're gonna add glue to this section. And again, this will still, hmm, Will that leave it open? I think that'll glue it closed. That's not what we want. So I'm wiping the glue off and we're gonna add the glue right here. That's as far as we want the glue to go. And hopefully I got it wiped off and we're okay. I think we are. Because again, I said this piece was a little wider than the flap and that would have glued it closed if I had added glue all the way to the edge. All right, and now we're gonna glue this flap down. I hope I did not confuse you guys. I think it's important for y'all to know that I make mistakes too, <laughs> and I misspeak and sometimes give the wrong measurements, um, but almost everything is fixable. So this is a nice deep pocket this way, and then a little shallow tuck that way. All right, and we're gonna put the 21, I think right down there. And again, I'm gonna have it hang off. So I'm only gonna add glue to a portion. So yet again, I don't glue the pocket closed. We'll double check. Yep, I left it open. Okay, that was 21. Um, it says a big flip. I really like that's like the one I just made. Let's do another diagonal. We've only done one diagonal. Oh, you know what, there's one. It's a very common junk journal pocket, but I haven't made one for this journal yet. So let's do that. Start with any size rectangle piece of paper, and you're gonna come up and fold it on an angle like this. So you kinda want these two points to be approximately the same height. And then I'm gonna start with the right-hand side. I'm gonna come over. And then we're gonna do the left-hand side. And you have a little bit of leeway about how far you wanna come over and what size it ends up being. You can trim this off if you want to make it a square. You can leave those up as fun little points, which I think I'm gonna do. I'll make it fun. And then what happens with this particular fold is you have all kinds of little, little pockets and tuck spots in here. So let me show you before we glue it together. I can glue it this way or I can glue this flap over. And look, we have one, two, three, four little tuck spots. And you might have a fifth depending on how you attach it to the page. So we're gonna gl put glue just on this edge along the bottom and then just along this bottom edge. You can glue this flap down if you want, but then you don't have as much real estate. If you do that, you can only put something narrow in here. If I do it this way, I have this whole space. But it's not quite as secure. Okay, this is number 22. I think it needs a little more. And I think I am going to maybe, we'll see. I might sacrifice a little bit of the, I don't know if I will or not. I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna sacrifice a little bit of the pocket space or not. I might just add some strips. Let's do that. All right, I'm gonna just wing the angle. Didn't get it even close to the right angle. 
There we go, that's better. And we'll tear this off. This is just to give it a little bit of color and pizzazz. A lot of times I'll make these and leave them very neutral like this in my journals. Um, and then depending on the ephemera and the pieces you tuck in here, that kind of brings some of the, the color as well. But this is an advent journal and I want to bring in my paper. Kind of don't want to lose that cute little spot. I think I'm going to give up this little bit of space right here. And if I don't glue the top, we'll still have, we'll still be able to tuck it in. So I think I'm going to just glue it. Whoa. Let me see what happens if I just glue a little along the bottom and if this will hold enough. So it definitely won't go anywhere, but. All right, if we do it like that, let's see what happens. I had those cute little cards. Yeah, that'll tuck in there. I still have this one, and I have the big, the two big tuck spots. All right, I think it's cute. Um, later, we could put a cute bow right there or something. I think that would be precious. Okay, I've got three to go. I'm glad you guys have stuck with me. I'm going to probably check and see where we are with time, and we may not install these on this video. We may, I may realize that we do have to have four videos. Ooh, this is another great journaling spot. So let's make this one. I haven't done one that installs this way and flips down. It'll be a flip down at the bottom of the page. So let's do that. I love it. It's not quite the right size. We may have to grab another one of these. Here, here's a yellow piece that is um, the right size. We can, we can tear it to whatever size we want now. And I think I wanna use a piece with the bow and maybe with this greenery turned this way. That'll be cute. And then using this strip, it will be tall enough. So let's do a piece just like this. And we'll do the bow. Very cute. All right, I'm gonna tear it and not wrap it because this is gonna be that flip down. Okay cute and then it's gonna flip down like this and we're gonna journal here this is gonna be glued to the other side of the paper and all of these some of these will make more sense when I actually go to glue them in the journal I think um, it'll be a little bit easier for you to see so I hope you will make 25 different kinds of pockets or however you want to decorate your pages but that you will um, do that so that when we are ready to do all of our page layouts you can do that with me it'll be fun all right here we go one of the other things that we do in my family um, and I've done with the kids since they were little is we decorate um, Christmas cookies together and so they're the, the fancy cutout ones and then we have all the different color icing and sprinkles and decorations and it's super fun even with the big kids and I'm again I'm a little sad that my daughter Sarah won't be here this year to do that with us so I'm still thinking about the workaround for that. <laughs> she and I may have to decorate some cookies when I go to visit just so that she gets to do it this year. I'm going to make a little tab right here just because I think that'll be cute. Or should I put it at the top? Maybe we'll put it at the top and be like, pull me, pull down. Um, if you guys have 
some traditions or some things you do in your family, leave me a comment and tell me about it. I love to hear what other people are doing um, to celebrate and to spend time together during this fun season. Okay. All right, this piece we're not gonna see because it's gonna be glued to a page. This is the piece, piece we're going to journal on. So again, let me, let me add a little strip. It's sort of like faux washi tape. I have a little bit of Christmas themed washi tape, but not a lot. And then I'm gonna just hand tear an ink and um, I'm trying to think so if this is glued this side we're gonna see on the other page got to get the number on here too um, okay so I need to think about that and what I want on the other side but I may worry about that when we go to put it on the page now when I put, oh, I didn't leave that into a pocket, so we're okay. I can put this right here and it won't get covered up. I had picked this thinking we could write or journal on it, but I'm kind of liking how it's coming together, a little collage-y, and I don't want to cover up the greenery. So we'll just plan to write in here. And then when we turn the page, this page, this is gonna show. So let's just really quick cover it with some of the yellow paper, and then I can add a pocket or something to it. We'll just see what else is on that page at that point. But I don't wanna see just all that book page. So this one isn't necessarily a pocket, it's more of just a flip, but that's okay. Now I've got the 24 and 25 yet left, which is Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And those need to be special, right? So I need to give give that some thought too. And if I wanna stay kind of with the theme and then I can make the tag or what goes in there a little different or special, not sure. I'm not sure, I haven't thought through it. All right, that's 23. Now I have, and I haven't cut them up yet, in the freebie, there's this collage sheet too that has all of these fun figures. So maybe, let's do Christmas Eve. Maybe we'll put Santa on Christmas Eve. And um, he's I'm trying to see on that page. I've got two different Santas to choose from. Let's just do a simple side load pocket like this. And then depending on how we install it, it may have more, more pages. So I am going to, I'm gonna use this part of the trim and we're just gonna layer this on here and then put Santa and the number on the front. I think that will be cute for Christmas Eve. We've made it all the way, guys. We're almost there. This video might have gone a little bit quicker if I had planned the 10 envelopes instead of just started winging it. Not envelopes, pockets. Ideas, book page ideas. But in a way, this is kind of fun too. All right, look at that. And I'm gonna glue the pocket closed by just adding glue to those two sections. Keep forgetting to ink before I glue, but that's okay, I inked this page. All right, this will get glued to the page. And now I have to decide, do I want that tall Santa or do I want this little Santa? I think we're gonna go for the little Santa because I also have to put the 24 on there. So. And I could have used my ruler and torn this out, but we'll just snip it really fast with my scissors. I think, I, I know you guys can't see everything on my desk because of the camera angle, and I, but I make a mess sometimes when I'm crafting. And um, 
you know, I just kind of throw the scraps everywhere and it just sort of happens. All right, cute. I also see where, again, a bow, a ribbon, something would really jazz this up even more. But we're just going to stick him on there. I'm pretty sure I've made the decision. We're definitely going to have to have four parts to this video. Because I don't like each one to get too, too long. I feel like it's just really hard <laughs> to upload really super long ones. And it's intimidating for people to decide if they want to watch. It's hard to commit to the super long ones. So we will do Christmas Day. And then we will stop. All right, Christmas Day. How about this lovely little girl with her hat? She has a Santa hat on, and she's holding some pretty greenery and a little basket, and she's all dressed up, and she looks very happy. So we're going to put her on day 25 because, again, I'm planning to give this to my daughter and she has always loved Christmas. And that's a little girl, even though my Sarah is not a little girl anymore. Okay, what am I gonna do for this one? We kind of are doing some pretty simple ones. And I like simple, it makes life easy. Let's fold up and... Oh, let's do another tall one. I like that. Let's do a really tall page one like this. Super simple. Um, because I did several of those earlier in the month and we haven't done one in a while. So that'll look good in the journal to have a variety. Okay, so this one's going to install this way. I want, do I want these Christmas trees? I think I do. But I have a strip here. Yay! Yeah, she'll look pretty with those trees. So, again, I'm just going to use the pocket to help me see the width that I need. And we're going to tear it. So cute. I love all of these papers so much. I will probably have to make one of these for me, too. I really like the idea of having it, but then maybe using it through the years and each year kind of adding a little something, something, um, either written on one of the tags or um, tuck in something new each year um, for each day. I think it would be a fun practice. And then what a treasure down the road to have that to look back on. So I'm pretty excited about this idea. Tell me if you are too. Tell me if you um, like this idea. I think it's one of those things too. If you miss a day, it's not a big deal, especially if you plan to use it through multiple seasons, <laughs> multiple years. Um, you know, just when you feel like looking at it, look at it or read last year's um, little note you wrote, something like that. And um, I think it would be great. All right, I am going to... Put just a tiny bit of glue on the edge of this one, and I'm going to glue it to our little girl. And then I'm going to just glue her to this part of the pocket, but leave this whole tuck spot open so we can put something large in there if we want to. So I'm only putting glue on about an inch of that card. Fun. All right. And then let me find something to show you. We left it all open. This will go on the page. And I think it's going to look fabulous. All right. I have no idea. Let me look really quick. We have been going for almost right at 54 minutes. Almost 54 minutes. So we're going to stop. And this is going to be part two. Part three, we will come in and install all of these fabulous pockets that we've made. All right. I will get them in order for you and we're going to have such a good time. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Have a great day. Thanks everybody.